I keep seeing all of these TikToks being like, ladies, just remember they always come back. And I'm just, I'm just here to say, if you're a fellow crazy girl, do not get your hopes up, okay? Like I'm talking like if you were like borderline clinically insane, they don't come back. They don't come back. Don't let these girlies lie to you. Maybe, maybe for the normal girls, they do come back. But for us, they don't, okay? I've never had one singular man come back to me ever. And you know what? That's on me. Like, it's my L. I'm going to take it. And it's when you do things like set post notifications on Instagram for the guy who likes favorite sports teams. So when they post a photo, you can be the first person to like it. And then when he's scrolling through his Instagram feed, he like has to see your name in the like section or like drunk text a guy so much you have to literally block him because you cannot physically stop or like have sex with their friends like they're not coming back and i just need you to know this we need to be self-aware they're not coming back do not get your hopes up but like stay crazy it's more fun okay love you you crazy bitch so i've been single since right before the new year and since then i've slept with four guys and of course they're all obsessed with me and now I got my oats out of me. Like I'm not crazy anymore. I'm chill and I just want to hang out with someone who pleases me. I don't have any energy to please anyone anymore. So I'm like, who of them pleases me the most? Guess which one I want to see again. One was a drug dealer. One was a boxer. Two were very respectable, great businessmen. Guess which one I want to see again. You'll never guess. The only one that I really like want to do it again with is the fucking drug dealer. Like, girl, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why is it always the same? Why? <laughs> Horse sweat, bitch. I'm so sick of being ghosted. Um, this guy was a guy I was actually hopeful for. I've been out with a couple of times. Um, but now I haven't heard from him since we last went out. And I thought I was like, healed from trauma but I don't think I am because every time it starts going anywhere where I see someone multiple times my anxiety like comes out again and I'm like this anxious person like my whole day is anxious my whole week gets ruined by these things and I've worked so hard to heal myself and I keep getting thrown back here it's just, I'm just so sick of it I don't know what you're all gonna say the ghost for a reason because they've got someone else this one's gone back to his ex and I know it now but it still doesn't mean it's less shit for me because I've had a great, like, time for however long it's been going on for. Um, and I was hopeful, which doesn't happen very often. And you all know that from being on here. That I've been out quite a few times and I'm never hopeful. Um, but yeah, I'll get over it. But if I'm quiet, this is why. Shut up, bitch! Okay, I am on a dating website that has, like, a gift shop. And you can create a wish list and attach it to your profile. And then, like, men can buy you stuff if you want. And literally no one's ever bought me anything um, because I don't really talk to anyone on it. Um, but this man messaged me. He's like, I'm going to buy something off your gift shop. And I was like, or off your wish list. And I was like, perfect. I love that. Thank you. And he bought me one of the things off my wish list, which was this freaking toy that I wanted for so long, but I refused to spend $250 on a toy. Uh, and then he gave me $300. And I was like, thank you so much, sir. And then he never talked to me again. And I was like, that is how I want to live my life. That is it. That is the dream. I love that for me. So I'm going to go use this now. And I'll let you guys know how it is. I'm kidding. I'm not going to let you know. Bitch. At least she can admit how crazy she is. But this one is extremely close to being put in a straitjacket. She's crazy. Typical 304. Claim to want the good guys, but then they turn around and get their back blown out by the drug dealers and bad boys. Then they expect to settle down with the good guys afterwards. If you consider yourself a good guy, don't put up with this. Good guys deserve good women. That's what I always say. Couldn't agree more. She has not healed herself if she cannot handle rejection. She thinks healing herself means getting over Chad. No, healing herself is being okay about the fact Chad doesn't want her and to then explore more suitable options. If she keeps making the same mistakes, she has not healed herself from anything or learned anything. And she never will. I will never understand why guys do this. This woman is not even appreciative. She's just entitled 
and acts as if she deserves it. The guy just inflated her ego. For what? Because he is crap! Real men of genius.